it could just be uh, a, a show. It could just be him uh, trying to to angle for attention. But I, I think that people should take this seriously. A far right movement linked to the January 6th insurrection is running for office here in Arizona. Ron Watkins is a central figure in the QAnon movement. Experts say it's a stew of extremism with the goal of restoring Donald Trump to the White House. The producer of a new documentary about QAnon told Team 12's Bram Resnick that this might be the next step in QAnon's bid for political power. Yeah, Ron Watkins has filed to run for Congress as a Republican in northeastern Arizona's vast first district. He's a longtime resident of Japan and will have to move to Arizona to run here. But Watkins is already handing out endorsements like a seasoned politician. Criminals who have his name is Ron Watkins. President Trump had his election stolen, not just in Arizona, but in other states too. Watkins we has been labeled the linchpin of the far-right QAnon movement. We must now take this fight to Washington, D.C. And now Hopkins is running for Congress right here in Arizona. It is essentially like having Q run for political office. Cullen Hoback's documentary, Q Into the Storm, explores the dark conspiracy theories promoted by QAnon believers and Watkins' central role as the so-called Q. January the 6th, uh, it, it wouldn't have happened without Q, but it didn't happen solely because of Q. Experts say Watkins creates safe internet spaces where anything goes. Racism, anti-Semitism, plots to restore Donald Trump to the White House. Watkins presides, often with opaque pronouncements. If you have to think of like an internet troll come to life, it's kind of Ron Watkins. Arizona's most infamous QAnon follower is Jake Angeli, the so-called Q shaman, arrested for storming the Capitol on January 6th. Since his arrival in Phoenix, Watkins has played politician, giving his blessing to Carrie Lake the former TV anchor and Trump defender running for governor, and to Tom Horn, the former school superintendent, seeking a return to that office. That he's going to face more scrutiny if he continues down this path. But Cullen Hoback says Watkins might welcome the attention a candidate gets. And Ron has said that this is something that he would do, embrace infamy. So I think when you consider him as a political candidate, um, infamy is something that he's chasing. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News. And Ron Watkins has a lot of work to do before he can get on the ballot. The Republican primary election is still 10 months away. You can watch my full interview with filmmaker Cullen Hoback on our YouTube page, 12news.com slash YouTube. We're live in the Alert Center. Bram Resnick, 12 News.